just don't go ahead with something because somebody said this and just don't leave any opportunity because somebody said this you have to make your own choice Hey there, I'm Nancy Shah. I'm a trainer, public speaker, anchor, voice actor and founder of Speaker Circle. We started this initiative to help people develop their public speaking skills. We conduct our interventions online and now gradually offline and you can also be part of it. All you need to do is fill up a Google form. You'll find the link of the form in the description. Well, in today's video, I'm going to share with you something that is very crucial. Have you ever said no to any opportunity? Well, I've said no to many opportunities many times. And let me tell you why. Let's get started. my MBA in marketing and we were about to graduate and we had this placement committee who used to invite companies for interviews and selection of candidates I used to look at the notice board there was X company coming in with that package and this package and that job role and profile well what is an ideal job role for uh, MBA marketing fresher it is generally sales and I didn't want to get into it and even I didn't want to get into uh, any role where I had to just sit in front of a computer screen for eight hours a day, keep mum and just do the work. Well, these are not the wrong fills, but it didn't suit my personality. It was not something that I like to do. And I decided that uh, I'll go for an opportunity which I like. So I used to look at the notice board. The opportunities were good. The companies were coming in and I knew that if I sit for the interviews, I have guts to clear the interview. But if I don't want to work there at that profile, what's the point in sitting for an interview? You are wasting your time and their time as well. And once you get a job offer, it is more difficult to reject it. So I decided that I am not going to appear for the interviews. And a lot of people ask me, Nancy, you're a good student. Why are you not doing this? You should grab this opportunity. This is really nice. Well, they were correct. They were concerned for me. And I, I could not explain why I did that. But then I had to do it because I did not want those opportunities. Why I'm sharing this with you? Many times in life, you will get n number of opportunities. And it's so easy to go for it and pick it up. But don't choose those opportunities if they do not align with your vision for yourself and it's difficult to say no but sometimes you have to say no and reject those job offers or work opportunities as well because if you deviate from your vision or your dream or uh, something that you want to do then it's very difficult to come back on that path so rather than applying for those opportunities, I chose to work at a college where I'll get my stage time, I'll get my audience as my students, I'll be able to speak and I'll be able to be connected with public speaking. Why I did that? Because I was very clear in my mind what I wanted from my life and what I wanted to do. If you have that clarity, great. If you don't have that clarity, it's okay. You might take some opportunities which you find suitable and you have to and gradually figure out what you want to do. Like I did not know that someday somebody would pay me for anchoring or training is also a career option. So I just started as a faculty based on whatever opportunity I had which was more similar to my dream and I started with that and over the period of time I could figure out what exactly I want to do and how. So. In beginning, sometimes you have to accept whatever is available, but then on the later stage, you will always be able to find your career path if you're very clear in your mind. So have clarity. And if you don't have clarity, just start doing something that you get and gradually figure it out. Just don't go ahead with something because somebody said this and just don't leave any opportunity because somebody said this. You have to make your own choice. Choosing an unconventional path is difficult because Nobody has traveled much on that route. But if you choose to be one, you'll be unique. And gradually people will understand why you did something. So it's okay if some people are not able to get aligned with your vision or your dream. That's fine. They're not wrong. It's just that they were never seen or imagined something like this. But if you are able to imagine, if you are able to see, if you can visualize it, go ahead and create your own path. 
and I think that's the best thing that you could have in your life. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Consider subscribing this YouTube channel as you'll find similar videos over here. Apart from that, we go live on this YouTube channel every Thursday where we do storytelling, movie reviews, book reviews, poetry and a lot of other activities. Speaker Circle is a platform through which you can explore yourself as a better speaker. Consider connecting with us. You'll find the link of the form in the description. And I'll see you there someday around. Bye-bye.